Hi friends! Today we're going to do my plan with me for the week of April 6th through the 12th. As always, let's start with last week. Except, yeah, let's do that and then we'll do something a little different. Last week in the planner, what did we accomplish? Well, I got all of my HB90 tasks done for writing and most of my tasks done for reading, but I did not read Age of, I still haven't finished Age of Witches and I was intending on posting my review on the 5th, but as this is the 6th, you will know that I did not finish reading and post my review by the 5th. Hopefully going to finish that tonight and get that up on Wednesday, but uh, yeah, I make no promises. I have a bunch of videos to still film for this week, uh, my wrap up and my TBR takedown and all of that, and I got all that done. I had a very productive week this week and I'm pretty happy about it. What I do wanna do differently this week is because we are doing Camp NaNoWriMo right now, I wanna go ahead and show you my updated week for camp. So if you watched my Camp NaNo video where I filled out my planner, you will know that I did not have any of my cabin filled out yet. So I do have my cabin filled out. Technically it's my group and I'm in a couple of different groups. So this is just everybody. There's some overlap with the groups, but this is everybody from both of my groups. So I have that in here just so I can kind of know who all's in there. There's some new faces, people I've never met before. I'm excited to get to be friends with new people. I always enjoy that. I updated my 30 hours to 1800 minutes as well because I am doing 1800 words on the website because, you know, it's a pain in the butt. I still haven't gotten up my like quote that I want to put in here, but I will eventually. I have been filling out my tracker, so I've gotten my days, everything's filled out in there, and I've got my first week. I've got 276 minutes, and then my bottom shows that my by the hour is at hour six, and as Monday is the sixth, that means I am at least up to date. That's that. The thing I forgot when I was doing my plan with me for camp was my tracker sheet. I use these, which are a part of the teacher planner. They're a teacher checklist. I cut the part off where you attach them to the discs and I just tape it onto the back of whatever page I have on here um, with all of the lines just to make that wonderful. So let's go to this week and pull it out of the planner and get to decorating. Uh, this week I'm going to go to silent mode, let you watch the process, and then we'll discuss it when I'm done.
our full spread, let's go over this a little bit, shall we? So I actually put in my YouTube schedule because, I mean, y'all already know what's going to happen this week. Uh, plan with me, it's going to be Monday. I need to get the Age of Witches review up at least by Wednesday because it releases on Tuesday. So I'm trying, guys. Really, I am. Uh, my March wrap up, my March TBR takedown both need to happen this week. It's going to be kind of a upload heavy week, but that's totally fine. Um, sprints with Becca and Henna at 6 o'clock on Tuesday. Sprints with Kevin and Laura at 7.30 on Thursday. Extra sprints on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Becca's channel for her birthday. And so I made sure that I put some pretty party balloons on there for Becca's birthday. And then Sunday is Easter. I don't know what y'all are doing for Easter, but because we're social distancing, I am just like literally going to make like a whole ham that I already have for Easter and probably going to eat it for the rest of my life. And I think I'm going to make some German potato salad, which is like my family's weird. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. Don't, don't, don't worry. Okay. And then my HB90 tasks, I need to transpose my world building into a new... Uh, system that I'm using and merge some of my structure things. I need to edit and upload basically all of those videos and then I need to finish Age of Witches, Fate of the Fallen which I have started, and Platform 7 which is a group read for Books and Lala drinking by my shelf are doing a readathon for that and I think the pretty sure the live show for that's on the 14th so I want to finish that as well so that I can join in with that. So there is my weeks. So let's get these babies on the discs. One more thing that I do want to discuss with you guys. I do typically have, I have two sections in my planner. So I actually have, uh, back here I have my regular, my life planner. So like what I'm doing, going to the grocery, um, doing stuff with my friends, things like that. I usually put back here in this different section of my planner um, but I honestly have not been putting anything in it because we're social distancing and because I'm not making plans with anybody to do anything like it's literally just empty there's nothing on it so I think for a while I'm not going to be filling out this one so you may be seeing more of like my personal life showing up in here uh, and that's really wise because there's not a whole lot going on in my personal life so I don't really need to put a whole lot down. So there will probably be some more like personal lives in here. I may end up doing, you know, actually using this square for like tasks that I need to do or something of that sort. Um, just because there's no point in putting all those stickers on there and spending my time doing that part of the planner and then not actually using it for anything. So just in case you see that in the future, that would be why. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!